man will pick up the chip. Which horse will she prefer? Only one to a customer. Which to stay? Which to go? Nothing is worse than not to know. Hardest bum, easiest to bear. Than to keep hanging in the air. One must lose, one must win. That is how love has always been. She must make mind up very soon. Can't be three on a honeymoon. Cannot divide your heart in romance. Remember, only one to a customer. Be wise, be smart. You cannot divide your heart in romance. Remember, only one to a customer. <laughs> All right, man, so I'm not with it. Dig that Maserati. Wow. got a date with me. Well, what about the races tomorrow? I'm taking her to the races, too. Will you let Janet say so? I said so. Oh, look, I, I'm not going with either of you. Going with Marge. You're not. You're going with me. Look, I said I'm going with she Marge. She said she's going with Marge. Don't crowd me, Martin. You know, I like you less every day. Well, you're not exactly my hero either, Bart. You want to make something out of that? Huh? Forget it. Look, Martin, I, I said forget it. Yes, tomorrow morning at 9. Said I'm going with Marge, Bart. Well, why let Martin spoil our fun? The guy's chicken. Forget him. Please, Bart. This time, let me do it my way. Hey, look. What are they trying to prove? I hope they don't start hanging around here. Yeah, don't sweat it. We can handle them. Oh, no, I want to dance. 
Four beers, mother. Come on, bud. Let's wrap.
to do. How badly did you hurt him? Well, he's all right. Sorry I broke my promise, Mom. Well, of course, if the boy was really bothering me, Janet. Norma! What that boy needs is discipline. He was protecting his girl. Oh, no excuses. If he'd been working instead of hanging around with those car crazy kids all summer, he wouldn't be getting into fights. Oh, Gramps, I had to fight. I tell you, he's headed straight for jail again. Oh. And what are you going to do about it? He did break his promise, didn't he? Well, now, didn't he? Yes, Rick, you did break your promise. I don't think I have any choice. I have to take the car away from you. Give me the keys. Well, I've got a race tomorrow. I... Give them to me. Well, I have to show up at the track. It's important. Rick. Well, I hope you're satisfied. drive it home, and I'll pick it up at your house in the morning. Won't your mother know that the car's missing? No, I'll, I'll lock the garage like I always do. She won't even look in. She won't know it's gone. Okay. I have to pick up Helen in the morning, so I'll meet you at the club. Okay, fine. Hey, uh, you think we can get a few more RPMs out of this? After all, you're the mechanic. Rick, are you sure you're doing the right thing? What do you mean? Well, I mean, your mother's a wonderful woman. Look, my mother's got nothing to do with it. It's the old man. Oh, you don't know what it's like to live with someone who doesn't give you one kind word once in a while. Don't I? Look, if just, if just once he'd come up to me and say, 
Have a good time last night, Rick? Say, Rick, go out and have a ball tonight. Or, Rick, why don't you bring your friends over so I can meet them? Not once, anything, just so I can like him like I'm trying to. Rick, you gotta take it in stride. I mean, live, boy, you're young. Take it easy. Cliff, I didn't call you over here for a lecture. Are you gonna help me or not? Shoot me in a screwdriver, Louie. I'm gonna have this baby a dance. Oh, well, here we go. All right, kid. Trouble getting away? No, none at all. Hey, excuse me, I'll be right back. See, my invitation's still open. Oh, it is? Huh? Hey, I thought you were gonna go with her. I changed my mind. Hey, big boy, we're off to the races. <laughs> hey, watch it, man! for this big race? Is that what you want to know, if I'm scared? Are you? Yes. I take that, sir. Rick Martin, sure thing, can't lose. Sure thing. Rick Martin, three to one. Three to one. What do you want, baby? You, baby. That's a short bet. Hey, Jan, give me a Coke, will you, please? Okay. One Coke, please. Just watch the big race today. I'm gonna take Martin right up my exhaust pipe. Oh yeah? Baby moves, huh? Took it out last night and clocked it. Well, how fast does it go, Bob? Oh, I got up to about 120 and cooled it. Oh, look at that. 120? I can't believe it. Entered by Joe Wilson. Remember, you cannot start practice without your technical inspection. So car 21 and 85, please report immediately to the checking area at the far end of the field. Everything you ready, Dorson? Yeah. Please get into position. The grid is closed. 
Guards, would you please move those spectators back behind the first turn? Please move back behind the white line. I'd like to remind the drivers to watch your flagmen. They can see the danger ahead on the curves when you can. Remember, the yellow flag is caution. The green flag means all well and to go ahead. You'll be barking the track. Yeah, the racing association won't let you race anymore. A little sore because I beat you. You deliberately cut me off on turn nine. So protest. You cheated and you know it. Well, that's your story. I say you lost your guts on turn nine. Oh, I can beat you anytime, any place. That's yeah, right. That's right yeah. Anytime, any place, huh? That's right. Martin, you just invited yourself to a train drag. Don't well, how about it, Martin? Just don't do it. Any time, Corson. Any time you say. Bradbury Crossing. Seven o'clock. Okay. Don't be late. Pickle Boy was killed in the train drag last month. I know it. Please don't do it. 
Janet, I have to. Oh, it's insane. Hey, what about our ride home? You go train driving. Janet, I... How about a dance? No. Well, come on, we'll turn off the deep freeze. No. Bart, you've got to call up this train drag. Well, don't ask me to check it out. Ask Rick Martin. He brought it on himself. Please, Bart. No. What do you say, man? I didn't think you'd show up. All right, what's the rundown? All right, here's the crossing. This is the road. Now, we'll park about right there. Now, when that train comes, the last one to leave the track wins. First one off is yellow, huh? Yeah. You know, I think we um, both know who it's going to be. Come on, let's get on it. Hey, wait a minute. This is between Bart and me. Nobody else is coming. Hey, 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 what's wrong, Martin? Afraid the gang will uh, see a chicken out? Use your head. If you take the gang, the cops will wise up. All right. I call it off. Not me, baby. You know, I want a witness to make this official. It's yourself. How about it, Mike? Sure. I'll go with Rick. Okay, we only have 15 minutes. Rick, please don't go. I'll start the car, Rick. Oh, Rick, you might get killed. Rick, don't you see that I love you? Oh, I'm begging you not to go. I don't make the rules. Good luck, Rick. Come on now, let's sit down. Won't be long now. Man, it's like I hate to miss it. Yeah, man. That train feels by there better than 90 miles an hour. If it hits one of them, nothing left but popcorn. No more train drags for me. Where's Rick? Well, he's... Oh, Rick. Rick. What happened to Bart? He uh, was the after Rick beat him, he took off like a misguided missile. That we never see his face around here anymore. Is that going to be so bad? Honey, if I, if I ever pull another stunt like that again, you do me a favor. What? What? Hit me right there. What do you know, one of the sports car boys? He 
ADQ, Gordy. Hey, where's Silva? Get out of the car. Look, man, I came here to see Silva. I said get out of the car. Okay, Dutch, get him out of there. Hey, wait a minute. Look, I came here to see Silva. Shut up. Now, you listen to me. When I give you an order, you obey it. And you obey it fast, see? Next time I tell you to do something, you jump. Look, I want to talk to Silva. But you're not brave. You scare real easy. Cody! Knock it off. Who's this? One of the sports car boys. Let him go. How many times have I told you not to play with that knife when I'm not around? I was just having a little fun. Now, what do you want? Can I talk to you alone? Look, we don't have no secrets here. Just speak right up. I got a deal for you. What kind of a deal? I'm going to show you where Curly is. Did you rough him up for the both of us? You and Curly had a little rumble, huh? Yeah, we're not exactly going steady. Well, you'd better be on the level. Let's cut out. Hey, wait. I can't be seen in my car. Well, ride with Snake. Dutch, keep an eye on him. I don't trust him. machine when it's tilted. Oh, Rick Martin, you're terrible. You're cute. Ain't that cute? Well, you just better have a ball now, Curly, because I'm going to get you. <laughs> Thank you. 
around in here somewhere, you know. Here he is, Silver! Gordy, Gordy, get an ambulance. Move! I told you to stay back there. Can't breathe. Easy, Gordy. Easy. Don't be mad at me, Silver. I'm not mad. Silver. Gordy's blood. I swear by Gordy's blood. I'm gonna kill you, Carly. Hey, Cliff. Hey, Cliff. Hey. Hey, Cliff, come on. Greg, what's up? I gotta talk to you. Come on. At two in the morning. Come on, buddy. I'm in trouble. Will you come on? I'll be right out. Let me put my pants on. Well, tell me, tell me the story, buddy. I took Janet home from the club. I walked up to the door, you know, and so Silver come up alongside, took a couple of swings at me with this wrench. He threw the wrench at me and missed me and hit Gordy. He lost control of the bike, went right over the cliff. How bad was he hurt? I don't know. I couldn't stay around there and find out. I don't see how anyone could live through a fall like that. He was smashed. Gee, Rick. I, I know this kind of gang. Silver's bound to blame me, then it's going to be their word against mine. I don't stand a chance. I wish I could help you. Hey, Cliff? Yeah. How much money you got? About 20 bucks. Why? Will you lend it to me? Sure, but why? So I can get out of here. I can't stay around here. Where are you going to go? I, I don't know. It Maybe Mexico, you can get lost easy there. Mexico? Look, Rick, why don't you talk to your mother? Oh, she might no, be able to... no, no, man. Not with the old man around. Gee, Rick, I, I don't know what to say. You got any other suggestions? No. But maybe I'll never be able to come back. Maybe. There's nothing else I can do. I... I thought about it. I have to. Look, not, not, not a word of this to anybody. What's happened or where I've gone or anything, all right? Okay. Hey, you promise? Promise. Hey, where can I wash up? Use the garage. Huh? I'll get the money. that I love you. You can't keep running away.
Operator, give me the police. I want to report an accident. got him out on bail. Yes. It's a mistake, Norma. He'll only get into more trouble. You should have left him with the police. Let Mr. Dale tell us what to do. Well, there isn't much to do until after the hearing. Manslaughter is a serious offense, and Rick's previous conviction isn't going to help him. My advice to you is stay in the house and don't talk to anybody. I'll keep him at home. Good. Well, I must get back to the office. Goodbye, Mrs. Martin, Captain Martin. I'll keep you informed. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think Mr. Dale believes my story. What do you expect? But it's true. Why, oh, that cyclist gang tried to jump me. We won't discuss it now. But, Mom, it was an accident. Please, Rick. Not now. I've had enough for one day. Well, you must feel real good. I'm in it up to my neck, just like you wanted me to be. Rick. Hey. The Martin boy served three months in a San Francisco house of correction after being convicted of beating an innocent boy. He has been released on bail in the custody of his mother pending an inquest next Friday. Manslaughter. Man, that's bad. It sure doesn't sound like Rick. You know what gets me is that all-American boy act he put on? Big man. Did you read the papers? I asked Bart. She feels bad enough as it is. How about a coat? Janet! For you, honey. Poor kid. You know how that Martin boy sized up all the time? Yeah, me too. Oh, wow. What a fine bunch of friends. They turn on Rick before he's even been tried, huh? Did you know you guys make me sick? talk to you. Look, you don't understand. But my mother... I don't care about your mother. It wasn't my fault. It was those cyclists. Oh, Rick, it isn't only last night. Why didn't you tell me about San Francisco? Will you listen to me? Meet me at the point tonight. No, I can't. You've got to. I shouldn't. Be right down. Please be there. Please. <laughs> what is it, honey? Rick. He wants to see me. Tonight? At the point. Are you going? I shouldn't. Look, Janet, he needs to. I know, Marge, but look, I think you should go. on the point as fast as he can. Bart Dorson. Yeah. Where are you going? Oh. You're staying in the house. Look, Mom, I have to explain to Janet. You're I'm... in enough trouble. Look, Mom, I've got to explain to Janet that I'm not to blame for that cyclist's death. You're not going anywhere. I have to explain to Janet that I'm not guilty. The court hasn't decided that yet. Mom, don't you believe me? That's not the issue. You stay out of this. 
Do you think I'm lying? Isn't a question of I want to know. Do you think I'm lying? Go to your room. No. I say I didn't sideswipe that cyclist. I say I didn't kill him. Now, do you believe me or don't you? Rick, I stopped believing in you yesterday when you disappeared with the car. Your grandfather's been right all along. I've been much too lenient with you. I'm clearing out. Uh, Rick, don't you realize what the lawyer said? I realize I'm through with you. Both of you. You're staying here. Am I? Yes, Rick. Take your hands off me. Rick! Rick, don't go! Rick! I didn't mean that. I, I said it in anger. I, I do believe him. Honest, I do. Oh, don't lose hold of yourself. He's gone. He's walked out on me. What should I do? There's nothing you can do. Oh, please help me. It was such a help when Bill was shot down. I, I have no one to turn to but you. Out to find Rick. I'm coming with you. Just get my coat. Rick? Wait, Janet. Where are you going? Oh, oh just for a while. No. What? I mean, Jenna, I'd like to have a little talk with you. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Bart. But I can't talk to you about Janet. Now. Now that Rick's out of the picture, Bart, I thought maybe... Rick is not out of the picture. But he killed a guy. Bart, please let me pass. No. Janet, can't we go someplace and talk? Let's go for no, a drive Bart, No, Bart, no, I can't. Janet, you've got to go with me. Bart, I'm not going anywhere with you. Now let me alone. Oh, will you listen to me? You can't meet Rick at the point. Bart, how did you know that? What? I was meeting Rick at the point. I didn't. I mean... I'm not. I'm not going to let you, Janet. You're going to go with me. He's no good for you. Let me alone. I am going to go with me. Let me go. Let me alone. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let me alone. Stop it. No, 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 Rick. No, no, please. No, he was gonna... Don't leave it. Just trying to stop me from seeing you. Please. No more fighting. Okay, honey. Okay. Come on, let's take a walk. Oh, no. No, please. Let's go this way. Come on, let's sit down. You ready to hear about last night? All right. I want to explain to you about that San Francisco deal, too. No luck there. Let's go back to Janet. Oh, no, Mrs. Pearson wouldn't lie. Maybe we should call the police. Oh, I told you, Norma. He's supposed to be in your custody. Let's try one or two more drives and then go back to Mom's. About the newspaper story. It's all true. What they didn't print was that I was only 14 at the time. That... That innocent boy pulled a knife on me when I caught him stealing my bike. And that, that innocent boy turned out to be the son of some big shot politician who wanted to make an example out of me. Yes, but don't get so excited. Me? The kid whose bike was stolen. Oh, calm down, Rick. It's all over now. The important thing is, 
is that we have each other. Janet, I need you. Oh, Rick, I need you. I love you so much. Get on the beach. But you know what to do. Take your positions. You're in this too. Oh, I can't. You'll tell the gang. You're in this all the way. Mm. Keep quiet. You run for it. No, you? no, I won't leave you. You do as I say. No, I won't do as I say. No. Hold him, Dutch. Bart! Well, you're the one who put him on my tail. The night Gordy was killed. He's first. And then her. Not the girl, Sylvia. She had nothing to do with it. Shut up. But Sylvia, she's my girl. It makes no difference. We can't have no witnesses. Well, why pick Shut up? Shut up! Oh, Thorson, you amuse me. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Since you're so anxious to be a big shot, I'm gonna let you hold him. No! Hold him! Round one and round two. That's the round I'll never forget as long as I live. That lug wrench was meant for you, not Gordy. You killed him, didn't you? Didn't you? You're responsible for Gordy's death, not me. You're responsible. Ain't that right, Thorson? You were there, ain't that right? Ain't that right? Yeah, that's right. This is the last round, Curly. This is for Gordy. Just the way he'd want it.
Jack Ricketter, boy. Oh, Grant, calm down. Oh, no. Let me be. Ricky, come on now, hit him, boy. Hit him, that's up, boy. Janet. He one of you too? Yes, sir. All right, you come on. Watch him. No, no, no. All right, take him out of here. All right, get going. Oh. Oh, come on, you. What are you taking me for? If I go, he's gone. Yeah, he started it. He's the one that finished it. He threw the wrench that killed Gordy. <laughs> All right, you. Come on. Let's go. Ricky, you're a chip off the old block. Thanks, Grant. Oh. 